So does anybody feel moon-like tonight? Anybody like to be the moon? Oh, come on. I have the earth and the sun. Somebody ought to be the moon. All right, very good. All right. Oh, yeah, there's our moon for Thank sure. Thank you. Just hang on to this and gather for here. For sure, good. So welcome. Okay, you're by the earth. Welcome to Chaco Culture. I am the sun. <laughs> National Historical Park. Welcome to our moonwalk in Bonito. I don't think Michael Jackson will be here tonight, so <laughs> we'll call it a moonwalk. I hope uh, some of you brought flashlights. It doesn't seem like it's going to be very dark. We will have the full moon. However, when we go into the building over here, when it does get dark, flashlights will be nice. I have some extras, so not everybody has to have a flashlight. It isn't often uh, that visitors get to be out here at night. Traditionally, we close the loop at sunset, but on special occasions, Around full moon, we try to do it. For one thing, uh, it's our night sky program evening. We do these three nights a week, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And uh, astronomy is just lousy at the full moon. We will have Saturn for you, and there will be telescopes in the uh, parking lot when we finish here. And I'm going to ask that we all stay together now. One of the things we can't have is just everybody going everywhere. We all have to leave at the same time. But, uh, you know, we'll. We'll have a little evening of it and a stroll through the building. Did some people live in Bonito? No doubt. But there are people who live in the White House, too. That's not its main purpose, however. It's a symbolic feature of our culture. The cathedrals of Europe. People live there, too, but not most people. A few select people. Some say that's what was going on here, that these were public facilities. So if you're here on Saturday and you're here watching the dances, you'll be doing what, perhaps, thousand years ago, thousands and thousands of people did over the years. And they came here too as visitors and came in at those special times. This space is shaped for very special reasons and we may or may not be able to interpret that very precisely. But if you go to the uh, Pueblos today, you'll see the same kind of shaping of space. You won't see the same architecture. That's different. They're not nearly as obsessed with all of this stuff as their, descent, or their ancestors were, but they still take their whole villages and shape it around an open, empty space. And it's in that open, empty space where many important things happen. If you go on the feast days with the Pueblos, that's where you'll spend most of your time, in or around the plaza, and that's where the dances will occur. It's a marvelous time to be there. And so when we have this happening this Saturday here, as we do every summer solstice now, those are the echoes and the shadows, I think, of some of the things that went on here a thousand years ago, too. I often wonder what kind of programs they had here at night. I wonder if they had full moon walks in Bonito a thousand years ago.